Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a flip through of all seven of my planners. I get questions sometimes asking why I have so many planners if I actually use seven planners and the answer is yes. So I'm going to go through a flip through of my January spreads and I'm going to talk a little bit about what I use each planner for, if it's actually helping me or not. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So I have this big stack of planners, but we are going to go through this one by one. So let's move that off to the side and start with the first planner, which is my social media content tracking planner. This is my favorite planner to decorate and write in. So let's turn to January. And I should mention in all of my planners, I do not use the monthly layout. I don't know why, it just hasn't worked for me. I tried, I did decorate a monthly layout once, but I ended up not using it. So I don't even decorate it because I don't want to waste my stickers on something that I don't actually use. So the monthly spreads will look plain in all of my planners. That's just because I don't use it. So let's turn to the first full week of January. Well, actually, should I go back to the end of December? I should probably go back to the end of December because that's where January starts. So this was the New Year's Day spread. And then we turn to the 4th of January. And this was all different colors. I think it was the color story sticker book for the big happy planner. And so we have this one. There are some times when um, I don't complete a spread. Like if I have to-do lists, like these to-do lists at the bottom, I just didn't have enough items to put in it. I don't worry about trying to write stuff just to write it. So if I don't have enough items to put in the checklist, I don't put it, even though it would look nicer if I just filled it in completely. But yeah, this is the spread that the planner that I use the most to keep me on track with posting on YouTube and Instagram and then the planning and editing and scheduling uploads that I have to do. So you're getting the real deal with this one. This is when I use the wild styled stickers and I love this spread. I still love how this one turned out. I loved writing my plan sound in it. It was just such a good experience. These stickers, this whole spread is just everything. I still love it. Then we go into the Dream Seeker sticker book spread that I did, and I like this one too. Yeah, there's not much to say about it. <laughs> the Dream Seeker sticker book is my favorite sticker book by the Happy Planner, so I'm always excited when I get to use those stickers. Then this was the Batman spread I did for Jason's birthday, which was the 26th of January. So this was a birthday spread for him, and then that is the end of January. After that, we are going to go into my horizontal happy planner, which I use as a gratitude journal. Originally, I was using this as an academic planner, but when the school, not school year, when the semester ended, I changed from an academic planner to a gratitude journal. So this was the beginning of January. This was a winter themed spread that I did for the end of December, beginning of January. And then we go into the full week of January. This is the first full week of January and January had a purple color scheme laid out for us and I tried to work with that so I used these purple florals which turned out really pretty. The one thing about the horizontal that I have not figured out yet is what to use the notes area for. The notes area just looks plain. It looks empty on all of my spreads because I just don't know what to use it for. So. 
that looks a little bit weird with every day filled in and then just the notes area just has stickers in it but it is what it is so another purple themed this one with plants and quotes this one i went with a color scheme that was a little bit all over the place we have some pinks yellows reds greens everything and i really like how this one turned out i love the florals again the notes area looks really sad but everything else looks nice and then we have the pink blue and purple which i also loved and that is the end of january and the horizontal next we are going to go to the classic vertical layout that i use as my health and wellness planner so let's just zoom in a little bit so let's go to the end of december because that's where january starts technically so january 1st we did this black gold black white and gold themed spread which i really really loved for the new year and then we go into the first full week of january and i use the dream seeker sticker book again then this was the watercolor the watercolor goals sticker book i believe it might have been the color story sticker book with the watercolor goal stickers in it i don't remember but i did have a video of this one um on my channel so i did mention it there i just don't remember off the top of my head what sticker book this was but yeah this is where this planner is where i write down my uh health and wellness goals not necessarily what i achieve so there are some things in here that i did not get to for example um i put exercising basically every day of monday through friday i think i ended up exercising like three days out of this week but this is my it's planning for the week ahead so this is what i planned on doing what I actually do, I put in a different planner. So I'll show you that when I get to it. But this is what I planned on doing for exercising, eating healthy, self-care, those kinds of things. This was the year to shine. Oh, this was the fitness sticker book. This was the year to shine sticker book and that is the end of january in my health and wellness planner next we're going to go to the dashboard layout that i use as my home planner where i put everything that i do for 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 the home for our apartment uh, things I have to buy, things I have to do, chores. I put a little bit of work stuff in here. Not a lot, just things that I have to remember that I want to have in multiple places. I write it, like if I have a meeting and I really don't want to forget it, I do write it down in here. But I also write it in my work planner. Just if it's really important, I do that. But... Um, most of the things in here are for the home so this area up here I was using to write down my dinner plans but I don't use it for that anymore but this is what I was using it for for the end of December beginning of January this is the first of January right here um, and then we go into the first full week of January and we have these pretty flowers. I forgot about this spread. I really like how this turned out. I like this little sticker explosion moment that's going on here. That's really cute. Then we have this one. 
I got some thumbs down on the video I did for this one. And I think it's because this spread is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of pink. It's a lot of florals. It's not everyone's cup of tea. And I mentioned that in that video. And um, yeah, people let me know what they thought about it. And some people did not like it. But I still love this spread. I like how it turned out. But then we go to the next one and we have more florals and I like this. I like the pops of yellow that really brings it to life. Then we get to this one which is really really pink and lots of florals, lots of pink, lots of quotes and this was the corner office sticker book by craft smart i believe and i love that sticker book um i got it at michael's so i love this spread i love how it turned out and that's actually the last week of january so we'll put this one off to the side and then we are going to get into i have to zoom back out just a little bit this is my personal planner I call it my personal planner. I'm not sure what the actual name for it would be, but basically every anything that doesn't fit into a category of the other planners goes into this planner. Um, so let's go to the first day of January. This was the New Year's spread that I did. It's pink, black, and a little bit of gold. And then we get into the first full week of January where I used the corner office sticker book again, but this time in more earth tones, more browns and greens. This is a coffee themed spread. So I like how it turned out. Um, the I have to say the corner office sticker book by Craftsmart is a really good sticker book. If you happen to be at Michael's and they still have some, I recommend getting it. I wish I had gotten two of them, but I didn't and I'm kind of sad about it because they had a sale at Michael's buy one, get two free on the Craft Smart and the Recollection sticker books, but they didn't have any other corner office sticker book left or I would have gotten like three of them, but they didn't have any left, so. I'm kind of sad because I want to use these stickers again to do another coffee spread, but with a different layout. So I wish I could do that, but unfortunately I don't have the stickers for it. But then we get into this spread that I used, the Year to Shine sticker book, the pink and purple stickers, yes. And I added the washi tape to it also. And then this is where I used the Walmart sticker books. I mixed and matched. I think I mixed and matched two sticker books. There was definitely one sticker book I used the most of. And I was surprised how much I liked this layout. Writing my plans down in this was a joy. Then we get into the birthday spread I did for Jason for his birthday on the 26th. And this was a more traditional birthday celebration type of theme and color scheme. And I like how it turned out. I had a lot of room to write on this spread, which was A+. Plus. I love having room I sometimes run out of room to write and I'm having to abbreviate or write small, but this week I had at least two boxes for each day, which was a lot of room to write in. And that is the end of January in my personal planner, which is a big vertical. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And then we're going to go to the two newest additions to the team, to my 2021 planner lineup, which are these two classic vertical happy planners. The first one is my goals planner. 
let's go this is the last week of December the first week of January I used a shine sticker studio sticker kit for this one and these stickers they're really cute but they're kind of annoying to write on so I don't use shine sticker studio stickers that often because like when I write on it I have to leave enough time for it to dry or it smears really easily so that's one thing to keep in mind with those kinds of stickers but this is the first full week of January and I used the Goal Getter sticker book sticker accessory book for this one and I like how it turned out I like the color scheme the pinks and greens together the only thing that I'm noticing now is that like this sticker sticks out like crazy it doesn't really match what else is going on in the spread but overall I'm still really happy with this one I did notice though that on the side here I have my goals and I have two habit trackers I did not use those habit trackers I don't know why I thought I thought I would come back to this every day and check stuff off but that's just not how I use my planners I use it more like a weekly overview basis not necessarily daily checkoffs that's what I use my health and wellness planner for but anyway then we come to this spread that I used the color story for I think it was a color story four sticker book I it's one of the color story sticker books for this one and I actually still love how this turned out I love the watercolor type of stickers and the florals they look really cute and then this one got a big response on Instagram this green coffee themed spread I still love it it was definitely definitely outside of my comfort zone but I really still love how this one turned out and then we come to the last week of January where I used Walmart sticker book for this one um, I think I used two Walmart sticker books for this spread and I love the bright colors and I like how it turned out and that is the end of January and my goals planner. The last one is, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's, I, I want to say memory keeping, but it's not really memory keeping. It's just kind of like a journal, but not it's not as deep as a journal I basically just write what happened that day so in my other planners it's me planning ahead me saying what I want to do for the week and in this one I put down what I actually did each day so I haven't found a way to do this efficiently because the stickers that I use are not necessarily meant for uh, some people call it back planning the stickers I use aren't necessarily meant for that so the layouts sometimes don't match up with exactly what I'm doing that's it's hard to explain but I'm trying to find a way to keep this as a memory planning journal daily brain dump type of thing but also keep it cute with stickers and that's a little bit that's been a little bit challenging for me to do I'm not explaining it well but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say okay so this was the first week of January I used a capital chic designs weekly sticker kit for this and I love how it turned out this one I used the simply lovely sticker book and I love the color scheme of this one 
the pinks and greens together. Pink and green is always a good combo. I just, I love the way that it looks. And then the gold accents are really cute. This one I used the Pastels I Heart Stickers Mega Sticker Book for this one. I think, again, I have a video of of this spread and I mentioned what sticker book I used, but I'm pretty sure it was that one. I hope it was that one. Um, and I love how this turned out. I love the florals. I didn't really continue writing on the sidebar. I don't know why I just left it half blank, but it is what it is. This was the Gold Getter accessory book that I used for this one. I love how classic it looks with the dark green and well it's like a dark teal and black i thought that looked cute this was one of the color story sticker books and i love how this one turned out and that is the last week of january and my planner i don't know what i'm calling this one yet but should i call it a daily journal because that i write in it daily and should I call it that? We'll see. But let's get out the whole family again. Three, four, five, six, seven planners. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but the way that I organize my life, the way I organize my week, basically I compartmentalize everything. So I need a separate planner for everything or else I get overwhelmed. So having seven planners might seem overwhelming, but it's actually the opposite for me. Having seven planners helps me to not get overwhelmed with everything that I have to do. Because if I break it down into the different categories, then it's more manageable. So I know it seems like a lot and I do a lot of plan with me videos where I'm decorating my planners basically every day. Um, I should also mention that the way I do my planning I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a video. The way I do my planning is I decorate with stickers all at once. So I decorate seven planners in, I don't know, it takes a few hours to do that, but I decorate and film them all at once, sometimes on Saturday or Sunday. And I just post the video, I break the videos up individually and post them throughout the week so that I'm not posting like a three hour long video of me playing with stickers. But that's how I keep up with it. Um, I don't decorate daily because that would, that would be too much, too much to do. So I decorate all at once and then I set aside a whole evening, well, afternoon and evening to plan out my week in my planners except for the daily gratitude and the daily journal one those I write in daily the other ones I write in over the weekend and then I just check stuff off as I'm going throughout the week the daily gratitude and the daily journal I guess that's what I'm calling it now the daily journal um, I do write in daily but it's it doesn't take that much it takes like five minutes to write in each one. I'm really just writing down memories from the day, um, something I'm grateful for, and it doesn't have to be, you know, like a big thing. Sometimes it's something small, just something to remember about the day, something to be grateful for. And then, yeah. So yeah, for those who think it's impossible to use this many planners, it is not impossible. Um, once you get your system, set up um it i should speak for myself once i got my system set up it was actually easier for me to use seven planners than to 
try keeping everything in one notebook because then it it just it becomes too much so yeah that was a flip through of my january spreads and i hope you like this video but that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye